Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be creating a digital menu for a coffee shop. This digital menu was built without code, all that's needed for this is a Google spreadsheet and we're going to go ahead and build this ourselves. First of all, we'll need a Google spreadsheet. I already created one. For Google spreadsheet to work with view, the header names must be on the first row followed by all the data in our menu. So I already populated this spreadsheet with some menu items. This coffee shop sells some salads, a few things to eat for brunch and some drinks. Every item in the menu has a name, a description, a category, a price and an image. In the image columns, we have a link to an image which happens to be stored in my Google Drive. One important thing is that the images need to be publicly available. So I'm going to open my Google Drive. I already imported all the images right here. One way to make these images available for everyone is that I can go ahead and share the entire folder. So I just click share and then allow to share this link with anyone. So this way all the images in the folder are made up publicly available. Now all I have to do is get the link for each image. So I just right click on the image and copy the link and paste it on the image column. You can import the image from other sources. All that's required is that it's available for everyone to see. So that's it. That's all we need for our spreadsheet. So now I'll head over to view and create a new website. The first thing that we need is the link to our spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste the URL. This imports the spreadsheet's data and we can already see that it looks similar to our final result. I'm going to click next. In this step, you can configure some basic stuff such as adding a logo, which will be displayed on the navigation bar. So I already have a logo and I'm going to import it. Now I'll choose a name for my website. The name you choose here is going to be the title for your website and it's going to be displayed on the navigation bar. So make sure you modify this. Now View handles hosting the website for you and you get to choose a subdomain. So I'm going to choose coffee shop and it seems it's already taken so I'm going to choose coffee shop demo. If I wanted to add my own custom domain I will have to upgrade my website to pro. That's pretty easy I just click upgrade to pro and choose a subscription plan. Right now there is a big discount on both plans. Uh, the payment is secure, it's handled through Stripe. If you don't want to upgrade or are just testing out, you will still get a free subdomain. So now we're going to configure the list view. We have a list view and a single page view. In the list view, I want to be able to filter by category. So I want to choose to filter category. It takes a little while and it loads the filters. Now I want to display the images for each product which are the links I pasted in my Google spreadsheet. I'm going to keep the title and description like they are. The only thing that's missing is the price field. So I'm going to insert it from the custom fields. We're almost done. All that's left is configuring the single page view. We can have a single page view for each item as we can see in the final result. So I'm going to make it look just as in the list view. So that's it. There are some configurations here that you can add if you upgrade to Pro, like embedding your menu in any other website or adding Google Analytics. There are some SEO improvements also that you can make. I'm going to skip those steps and publish the website. So here it is, this is the digital menu, it took us only a few minutes to get done. We can do stuff like filter and by category and click on each individual item to open up the single page view. Now one thing you might be interested in is creating a QR code so your customers can open up the menu. 
To do that, we can copy the URL and go to a QR code generator like this one right here. So I'll simply paste the URL and save the image. Now you can print this and give it to your customers to get access to the menu. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a digital menu. We did it in code. All we needed was a Google spreadsheet. If you wanted to edit something in the menu, like the price of a salad, for example, you would do it straight from the Google spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and reload my website. And that's it. We have a digital menu. You can get started by going to getview.com. If you have some questions, leave them in the comments and thanks for watching.